Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play I, the Somnium Files. Last time we, uh, we encountered a lock here. When Date tried to, uh, like, he... I mean, we, we learned the truth about everything. It was So's son that killed Monica. And we were going to confront Renju, like... There was so much plot last time. Like Hitomi was blackmailing so we went to where like we were told to meet up with um Hitomi and we found Renju dead. Um number eighty nine knocked out Date. Iba has four hours before she has all of her like memories deleted because Computer is a little bitch. So, um, yeah, I, I don't, we, we're, we're not going to be going down that route because apparently there's a story lock. So, uh, today we're going to the other, only other fork there is. So, um, case file, a cold and Friday rainy night in November, the body of a woman was discovered at the merry-go-round in the abandoned amusement park known as Bloom Park. The corpse was bound and displayed on one of the horses. Date and Iba arrived at the scene and began their investigation. The victim was Shoko Nadami, an acquaintance of Date's. She was missing her left eye, likely taken by the culprit. Then came a sound from the central column. Thinking quickly, Date ran to the column's door and shot it open to discover a girl inside. Mizuki. She was shaking from the shock and clenching something in her hands. An ice pick with blood stains on it. So then we synced to, like, wake wake up, Date. I, I don't recall that one too much. That was, like, way at the beginning. But, yeah, he had a premonition of a dead body there. And so uh, the day after Shoko's course was discovered, Date visited Abyss HQ to exchange information with Boss Iba claimed to know who reported the body. His name is Oda Matsushita. Date arrived at the lobby of the enchantment agency Lemniscate to look for him. He met the idol Iris Sagan and agreed to allow her to accompany him on the investigation. Going back to Bloom Park with her, Date found more clues. Date took Iris home and met her mother, Hitomi Sagan. All Date could do was stare. She looked exactly like the woman from his dream. Still muddled from the experience, Date returned to Abyss HQ to check in on Mizuki Okiura, the girl from the merry-go-round. And then we synced with her because she didn't, like, she, she wasn't able to talk. And so we hugged her in her somnium and she was able to talk again. Um, Date sinking into Mizuki healed her muteness. Date asked Mizuki about the figure that he saw in her somnium, but she claimed to not know who it was. Date took Mizuki to Bloom Park. New developments suggested that the culprit used the old subway lines to move the body. Suspicious car was identified, owned by Renju Okiora, the ex-husband of the victim and Mizuki's father. On a tip from Mizuki, she and Date headed to Sunfish Pocket. There they were greeted by a horrifying sight. Uh, Renju Okiora's corpse hanging from the ceiling. First Shoko, now Renju. It was presumed they were killed by the same person. Their deaths matched a case from six years ago. The Cyclops serial killings. Date visited the bar Marble, located in Golden Yokocho with Mizuki, to gather intel from the owner and informant Mama. She told them that Renju had connections to a Yakuza gang, the Kumakuras. Date left Mizuki at Marble to visit the Kumakura office alone. There he found So Sajima, the politician. The, the circumstances were suspicious, but there was no direct link between them. With no options left, Date headed to Lemniscate to meet Oda. After being pressured, Oda admitted that he saw Renju and Iris together the previous night. With the suspicion now on Iris, Date synced into her brain. And that's where we're returning now. I have no recollection of what I did here. But whatever I did, I'm going to have to do the opposite. <laughs> huh. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped through all that. Alright, I remember the TVs, the lights, why is motorcycle asshole outside? I'm gonna do out a freaking spike strip. Okay, how does this relate to Iris? I don't know, but there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? 
Okay, do I even have the bonus from this thing? I don't remember. So... The switch is gonna happen immediately. A double... Open the door. Probably shouldn't have skipped that dialogue. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. So at least I got a good old timey there. A double tackle. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Stop that. You're not helping. Okay, can't do anything with that, so I guess I am forced to do a something CRT with this. TV. What did I do last time? Okay, we are going to go on a little field trip. Do, 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 do. It's gonna have to be on YouTube. A doop 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 a doop doop. Should I have done this beforehand? Yes, I should have. But this shouldn't take too long. Um, search for Somnium. Show all. Um. Yeah, I think I found it. Yep, yep, yep. When we were sinking with Iris. Um, mute. Come on. Why is I? I'm I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay, there we are. Okay, I hit it last time, so let's spin the dial. I'm gonna save that uh, one six timey. Oh, that's disturbing. What is this video? It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. What? What is going on here? Iris, what are you hiding? We should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. Huh. Um. Was not expecting that. Does that mean 89 is the killer? A full body mirror. Oh, actually, I'm good on that. Um. Anything cheap to got a gun? A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? What would you call it? Nineties. I need something cheap to waste this timey on. Is it real? It appears that way. Investigate the gun. It is a pistol. It appears to be fixed with a vice. Why would this be here? 
What's this? The trigger. There is a stick in the hole of the trigger guard. That's suspicious. What is even in here? So we got doors, torso, no, torso, mirror, gun. A torso with a. I mean, maybe if we choke it, just act out what we just saw. Did that do anything? Unconscious, the room changed. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. Strangle the body. Okay. Medicine bottle. What, what else we got? Operating table, TV, mirror, medicine bottle, gun. A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnia, some things should not be done. Hmm. You say that. Four minutes. A drug bottle that holds. So these timeys suck. We got over here. Oh yeah, TVs are how we were advancing things in the previous one, I think. I might as well stick with turning the dial then. Okay, this is brutal. That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Did she watch like number 89? I mean, he's in prison for life for a reason. He's an assassin. Indeed. The oil drum, bookshelves, and oh. another torso have been added. Let's go. Okay, well, let's go down the line. Then we have a shelf. Some behind it? Only a shelf. Do we go Legend of Zelda on this? That shelf sticking out. It seems odd. Uh oh, iron ball. Looks like iron. I don't know. It's shiny. Oh. 
What? What happened? A metal ball must have fallen off the shelf. Why would anyone put that there? Pick it up. An iron ball. It looks quite heavy. Balance on, throw, kick. Okay, I'm noticing something with the timies then. It's like the correct ones are giving me fractions. Like the correct actions are giving me fraction timies. Because when I sniffed that medicine, I got like that 50. Should I throw it? Throw it that way. Understood. It is unexpectedly light. All right. Uh, yeah! Oh, we just need to be as violent as possible? I feel like that ball hit me in the head. Now, a TV and an old book have appeared. I hope this is the last time. Oh, one more mental lock. Doors. Where's the book? Hmm, so this is going to be rip or read, then. I'm definitely not throwing it. It has not been well preserved. Most of the ink has faded. Can you tell what kind of book it is? It is probably a book on... Insects! It's a book on insects! <laughs> oh my god. Her face! Don't get excited. I know how you love bugs. <sighs> This book belonged to Iris? I didn't know she liked insects! And to read the book so often that it wears out! Well, we can't prove it's Iris's. <laughs> True. We cannot conclude anything. <laughs> I was so good. Reference. Oh, she's gonna be heartbroken over this and rip it. This will be easy. It's more brittle than crumbly cheese. Disappeared. Melted down like a grilled cheese. Um. Did anything change? Okay, well, yeah, let's do the only one that'll give me a fraction. We're about to see a new kind of murder. of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Locker is red. Green table, mirror, mesm. Where's 
Where the locker at? Oh, cause I did it before? Oh, that's the same thing that happened in the last one. It's all right. More importantly. We are Rube Goldberg, ain't it? Recall all this happening. <laughs> the medicine bottle. It wasn't nitroglycerin. Okay, this is getting insane. Uh, was that Renju? I guess I saw that. I feel like I didn't quite earn that one. Day three, Sunday, Gumai. What happened in that Somnium? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killers. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... That was Renju, right? Like... Oh, I forgot to look at the files. We got Persons. We got Monica. Um, yeah, Monica EY, 19, deceased, profession, university student, likes Hitomi Renju, her daughter, dislikes killing. Huh, hobbies include studying international politics, skills, ballroom dancing. Iris is a real mother. At the graduated from high school, she started seeing So Sojima and became pregnant with Iris. Just after giving birth, she went to meet So in the warehouse district and was never seen again. Two more people I've yet to meet. Are they going to both be in this branch then? And then for turns we got collage. 
to glue in French, an art form that involves combining various materials, such as printed paper, cloth, wires, wood pieces, sand, leaves, etc. Peter describes dreams as a collage of memories. It sort of reminds me of Mormon bubbles. Tell someone you love to image search it. Why? What? I never heard of these. M Mormon bubbles. Latter day Saints. What the? What the fuck? A little rant about the Mormon bubble term from our Latter day Saints. Know your meme. Mormon porn. Bubble porn. Know your meme. Mormon porn, also known as bubble collage, in Japan refers to photoshopped pictures of girls in which they're... Oh. Oh, that's what that's called? Okay, in which their clothes are covered by bubbling technique, making it appear as though they're naked. Okay, so... Yeah, you just... Like, take a picture of... Like, a woman in, like, a bikini or something, and then just, like, superimpose a layer of just, like, a random color, but you add circles to the layer, but you still, like, cover up their clothes, but keep, like, any other skin or cleavage exposed to make it look like they're naked when they're not. Why was that related to our Latter-day Saints? Is that a thing that Mormons do? Like that um, thing where it's like they lie naked on their partner inserted into them but they don't move because as long as you don't move you're not like having premarital sex and thus it's okay. I'm not joking about that. I forgot what the actual term is, but that is a thing. They be weird over there, yo. They be they be weird in Utah. Um, that's all we got. All right. So, um, just getting real as usual. Oh, I take it. <sighs> oh, this brings back memories. Date and I consummated our love for each other many times <laughs> on that table. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, bunch of Marimos, okay. Date, can you turn on the TV? Video drone is about to start. What's video drone? You haven't seen video drone? It's a cult classic. I haven't seen it, and that's not a TV anyway. Poor Iba. She just wants to see video drone and read about insects. Her face when she was reading that book was amazing. Mm, not much happening here. Yeah, I see y'all there. I don't. I'm, I'm just ignoring the elephant in the room here. <laughs> hey, did you hear something just now? Mm hmm. It must be in your head. That's right. That's all in your head. Who said that? All right, well, let's talk to uh, Ass Clown here. Here looks like his usual self. Um, the red figure from the sink. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. About the original and new incidents. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. 
Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. See, that's hella suspicious after the other, like, branches here. About the original Cyclops killer. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. So how can you be sure this is a different person? That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing. But in reality, it was dropped completely. Because it's someone with ties. Could it have been so, son? Why did the original Cyclops killer appear in Iris' Somnium? The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the sync machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. Why did the original... Yeah, like, more please. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. This can be expressed as an equation. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes, I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Hmm. Also, this raises, like, some really, like, cool, like, um... What should I call it? Psychology questions or discussions here. Are all memories real? No. Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Right. Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. I mean, yeah, to an extent, but they're still, in themselves, events that didn't happen. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. Fair enough. You win this round, Pewter. Yeah, even when, like, you're creating fiction. You're still basing it off of like your own ideas, things you've seen. If you're writing horror, you might base it on things you've seen people are scared of or your own personal experiences. But your idea of what a monster should look like, what your idea of... Fair enough. The boss has a serious look on her face. The blue figure from the sink. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. 
So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer. Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. So that wasn't Renju, okay. I, I thought it was Renju with his glasses off, but yeah, that does look like Dante then. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. You don't have your memory. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? No, but you could hire somebody with a blank slate. I mean, I know this isn't like the best example, but it was like in um, one of the newer, I say newer, like it's been like the rebooted series for what, over a decade now? I'm talking about DC Comics when they like rebooted everything from like ground zero, but yeah, newer incarnation of Riddler gained, at least I think this was newer, or was it one of the like tail end ones before the reboot? Well, either way, there was one incarnation of Riddler where he gained, like, amnesia, forgot everything about being a criminal, but still maintained, like, a level of, like, really high intelligence, and the police recruited him, and he was actually, like, working for Gotham PD, was working alongside Batman, and, like, yeah, they, granted, they would never have hired Riddler, like, as himself but blank slate riddler who's still like highly intelligent yeah they're going to use that to their advantage so you interrogated iris before the sink what you saw in the somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her could be about the original killings didn't i tell you the entire case is a state secret no matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. So then we're going back to my other hypothesis. Date must be Saito, and Saito must have been the killer. Because Pewter was getting really upset that we were getting close. But it was like, oh, you're uncovering something from, like, years ago. But no, that was just... The fact that Saito killed Monica, he wanted to keep that secret. But it can't be unrelated to this. What about the original killings? The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. Yeah, none of those look like Monica, so... I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. Not to mention the Monica thing did happen. There like, isn't. It's a coincidence. Technically 12 years before that, so. Really? Really. It really sounds like she's just trying to like keep him calm. Why did the original Cyclops killer appear in the Somnium? You can't Sorry about chair something noises. you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm. Summarize for me. I didn't learn anything from speaking with Boston Pewter. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper. Pewter shook me from my thoughts. Dante, 
It looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I right, headed to the sink room. Hey, Iris, about that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. I mean, if you saw that, like, that would be some heavily repressed shit. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. Could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. Huh? You know about that place? Yeah. Mr. Okiura took me before. One moment. And back. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. Alright, sure. Marble? Iris nodded and pulled out her phone. Is she sending a Nile message to someone? I was curious, but I didn't want to pry. I turned the wheel and drove to Marble. When we walked in, I didn't see Mama anywhere. To my surprise, I saw Ota sitting at the counter. Tessa! Oh, Ota! What? Where's Mama? Is Mama about to be dead? I don't... I don't want that. At least we get to see the other, uh... Half of the restaurant. Oh, we're getting nothing. Is that a note or like the thing she would use to polish the? Hmm.
<laughs> you, you can really see the picture of St. Sebastian now. He's standing next to me. You called him here? No, I didn't tell him to come. He just showed up on his own. Is she not gonna say anything? Looks like he's bothered by something. Yeah, where's Mama? Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here. I wasn't particularly surprised. Mama's always depended on the kindness of strangers ever since she opened Marble. Does he have a GPS on Iris? But then he was here before us. Isn't your phone broken? No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. Never thought I'd run into you here. I was niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to Marble, so... I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. What was that thing about? This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. What were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two widow thing. I swear I'll do it. Geez, fine. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? But before I tell you, who's that? What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. Don't fucking fall for this. God, you're stupid. Oh, it's short-circuited, Iba. So she won't have recorded anything like she did when he got knocked out with the um, walk. Okay, so no matter what, he's just always going to get knocked out in uh, this one. Also, Jukai. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. Where am I? My head was killing me, and my memory was foggy. I felt a sudden pain in my neck. I shot up, rubbing my neck. When I looked over the counter, I saw a monster staring back at me. Rude? It took me a few seconds before I realized it was just Mama. It looks like you're awake now. As Mama spoke to me, it all came rushing back. I remembered everything. Data, you stupid man. Like, ooh, I'm just gonna turn my back to this suspicious guy. Like, whatever. Next time we figure out what's going on in this arc. Is Iris gonna be dead again? I don't know. Um,. Well, she wasn't dead, but it was like murder was about to occur. And everything with Mayumi and all that stuff. It's, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play I, the Somnium Files. Goodbye.